tears away at our very being, it breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. All right. First of all, and technically, well, because it's actually been quite a while since we got a new update on it. Here, well, Square Enix just went on and released a new trailer for Final Fantasy 16. In addition to an update on a release window of summer 2023, supposedly the game is now coming to the PlayStation 5 and PCs only. Final Fantasy 16, y'all, I'm assuming, know is a single-player action RPG like most previous entries in the series. It'll be a PlayStation 5 exclusive too, and in case you missed it, this is how it actually looks. If I take the field, our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Everything here wants to kill you, kind of way. Coming up behind that, and technically I've actually mentioned this one earlier for those of you who have been waiting this whole year, well Forspoken, which is technically Square Enix's most advanced visually open world game to date, as stated by developers of course, just went on and received another delay and now releasing January 24 next year, as opposed to October this year. The game is still releasing for the PlayStation 5 and PCs only, and just in case you aren't familiar with coming from the same team behind Final Fantasy 15, hence the resume. Let's take a look. Let's finish this. Well, not really too long ago, Square Enix came out and actually announced that Kingdom Hearts 4 is now actually going through a full development plan, and finally, the fine folks went on and debuted the gameplay trailer for it too, which, in my opinion, I have to be honest, looked like the most realistic looking Kingdom Hearts game to date, obviously. Well, this is just a reminder, to be quite frank, no additional details on the new game were given, specifically when it will eventually release, and apparently, this, whatever you're watching was captured using Unreal Engine 5. Check it out. I'm out here looking for something, despite the world being in the state it is. Valkyrie, heed my words. Ragnarok tears our world asunder. All we hold precious 
lies on the brink of annihilation. A couple of weeks ago, and I've also mentioned this one very recently, Square Enix announced a pretty brand new Valkyrie game going by Elysium. Technically a spin-off of Valkyrie profile from all the way back 23-24 years ago, and to accompany the good news, the fine folks also released a new trailer for it. They said the game is now coming to the PlayStation consoles and PCs only, and now September 29 this year. Today we also just got a brand new trailer as well. Nothing left for me in this world. I just want a chance to make things right. My name is Christopher. I have protected this land and its people as my forefathers did before me. Very well. Then I pledge my loyalty as your inheritor until the very end. You are a being of divine power, are you not? Please, would you hear my plea? My name is Tycho. It was once my duty to watch over this land. Wretched soul, by Odin's command, you shall be purified. The past is forever, but the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. At number 5, well, we've got the one and only Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You all know the second chapter in the Final Fantasy VII Remake project. You might be interested to know well, that Square Enix went on and just announced the game will be exclusive to the PlayStation 5, all because of the new next generation console's SSD hardware, and that it'll be releasing by the end of 2023 at its latest. Check it out to accompany the update, folks at Square Enix also came up with a new trailer. That I'm some kind of imposter? You were here with me, five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. I feel like I failed you. It would seem war is much the same here in the stars as it is in our world. Well, we came this far. Can't turn back now. I wish to go forth and protect this kingdom. No. This entire planet. Ray. Will you not take me with you? At number 6, and man, I've actually been waiting to hear about this one myself for quite a while. We've got once again Star Ocean, the Divine Force. For those of you new, technically an entirely new story in the series' history, and touted as a choice-driven science fiction fantasy semi-open world game, with a totally brand new approach in core gameplay this time around. Well, check it out. Title was announced October last year, and now actually releasing October 27th this year, and on its way to all PCs and consoles too. Except Switch. Take a look. Virgoldian Interstellar has already deployed forces throughout the system to intercept them. Don't tell me you're seriously planning to strike at the Federation. Why exactly are you here, pray tell? Have you aims at world domination? Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. I know of many experiences in this world far worse than death. There's nothing we can do. Is evacuating the correct course of action? That leaves not all well. Don't worry, Dad. I got this. But why would you do that? Perhaps it's best if you enlighten them yourself. Moving on at number 7, and about maybe 7 years since its initial reveal, we finally about a month ago got the confirmation that the next Dragon Quest game, well, going by Flames of Fate, is now coming to all platforms, PCs, Switch even, and it'll be the first game in this series' lifetime to use Unreal Engine 5, which is kind of mind-blowing. Well, just keep it in mind, this game supposedly releasing early to mid-2023, and the game play we suspect to be very different from previous iterations in the series. Moving on. Zack speaking. Making progress, Zack. And Geo. I can cut loose, right? Within reason. 
Okay. On the other hand, next up, we've got here the one and only Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Uh, for those of you who knew, a game that originally hit the PSP consoles back in 2007, technically a remastered version of that that will now run in 120 FPS and will include updated 3D models, fully new voiceovers and new musical arrangements. Check it out, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion is now on its way to the PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox consoles and Switch in addition to PCs late possibly November 2022. Project G gave birth to the man we know as Genesis. Project G. Project Genesis. Settle down. Zack the puppy. <laughs> what do you know? Shira lapdogs! actually just came out with a hefty amount of new batch of Dragon Quest Treasures information. For those of you who've been patiently waiting all this time, the characters, the skills, gameplay, mainly for those of you new here, as a game that is basically focused on hunting for treasure as the name implies, Dragon Quest Treasures. And well, like previous entries, of course, an RPG adventure at its core. Check it out, Dragon Quest Treasures is coming to the Nintendo Switch on December 9, possibly the other consoles and PCs too at a later date. Let's go! We've finally been called up. We're up against the Empire's main arm. We are to eradicate every last Imperial who comes ashore. Okay, so we have once again by Square Enix from earlier this year, a pretty brand new IP called the Die Field Chronicle. Technically was described to be a deeply strategic role-playing game and now designed from the ground up by the strategy veterans from different eras in Square Enix's history. And as you could tell, technically taking inspiration from games like Fire Emblem, Three Houses and other games. Well, check it out. All we know right now is that the game is releasing later this year and into PCs, Switch, and and other consoles too. We should send our best and crush them. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. It also likely means that we're in danger. I suppose it is the only way for us to survive. of three. Open your eyes. One. Two. Three. On the other hand, actually at the recently aired Nintendo Direct, Square Enix had actually announced about a year ago that the first two installments in the Front Mission series are coming to the Nintendo Switch are now releasing by the end of 2022. Well, to accompany the good news, they even came out with a new trailer. Just in case you're new to the whole franchise, Front Mission games are basically futuristic dystopian tactical role-playing and also third-person shooting games. Take a look. I guess I'm out of time. Touch. Sound. Taste. Moving on is the old 1988's Dragon Quest III Remake, technically an HD 2D rendered game in style of other games like Triangle Strategy, and now actually coming to all consoles and PCs in addition to the Nintendo Switch. Well, check it out. In case you missed it, apparently the game is set to come out once again later this year, actually in about a month from now with a final release date and a new trailer too. So just keep it in mind for now.
Leafy, a village adorned with the vibrant colors of the changing seasons. Moving on, we've got once again Harvestella. Technically a brand new IP by Square Enix that just came out way pretty recently as a life simulation RPG that combines all farming elements in an RPG style sort of combat. Or technically a mix of old Harvest Moon and Final Fantasy games as a first. Well, check it out, this game's releasing on the Nintendo Switch and PCs only via Steam November 4 this year. Travel the world and get to know the people who live in the neighboring towns and villages. Life is peaceful and time passes by until Quietus inevitably arrives, interrupting the cycle of the seasons. Crops wither and all life is threatened. Share in your new friend's sorrow, joy, pain, and courage, as you stand together to face momentous ordeals. This is the story of those who live alongside the seasons of life and death of their fight against the rules of this world. On the other hand, uh, we have once again here on our list a game called Level Live HD 2 the Remake, which you might have not been familiar with, so just in case, technically an amped up version of the old Super Famicom classic role-playing game from almost 30 years ago, and now with the ability to allow players worldwide for the first time to go through multiple time periods of time, with new soundtracks, a new aesthetic, and technically made from the ground up. But check it out, the game is releasing in about a few hours hours from now and on the Nintendo Switch only. As strong in body as young in spirit, a worthy successor to my heart. Cast flowers to the wind. I'll fight my way to the top, and the world will know my name. That thing's no god of mine, and I'm not melding with these freaks or anyone else. And last but not least, y'all, in case you missed out, in a broadcast that actually took place around almost the same time last month, Square Enix also announced that the old classic romancing saga, Minstrel Song, would be getting a remastered version and releasing for all platforms later this year. Technically a game that was originally released for the PlayStation 2 and now coming over with, of course, better graphics, boosted soundtracks, and some more new in-game content, so just keep it in mind. 